Sagittarius. This will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Sag, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, these are your cards, honey. Sag, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also, with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the King of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups. A Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus, you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius. 
It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So sad, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Now, Sag, listen, it could be some type of offer for commitment coming in here, Sag. Someone's coming in with some type of romantic news, maybe wanting to work things out or plan some type of commitment, Sag. But Sag, this could also be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, work, or business some type of opportunity is coming in, Sag. Sag, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So, Sag, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Sag, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Sad, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius, clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius, clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So sad, you're telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Sad, you can tell me that you're disappointed because maybe you needed to make a decision between employers here. Sad, you may be leaving one employer going to a new one. Okay, and that's the the morning that you're feeling here, Sag. Hmm. Sag, you could also tell me that are you resisting this person, this Aries, this Taurus, or someone who's trying to be your spouse, the parent of your child here, Sag? Because maybe you're still hurt, morning, disappointed, and you're at a crossroads needing to make a decision, using your intuition to make this decision. 
Serge, I want to know if it's also you resisting them about going into commitment here. Like I said, you guys could be trying to work things out, but they're jumping how to get you back. But I don't know if there's still some lingering disappointment here that makes you feel like, no, you want to hold back. You want to think about it. You're at a crossroads. Sad, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So sad, you could be weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the eight of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airways, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So sad, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that someone's trying to rush you, but you're still debating or needing to decide. Sag, you can tell me you got in, guys got into a heated discussion or argument because you're needing to decide, you're weighing things up and debating. Sad, you can tell me that someone was juggling here. They were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else, wanting forgiveness and wanting to work things out, but also to jump high to get you back. Sad, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So sad, someone very well may have commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Sag, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Sagittarius, clarify the chariot. For Sagittarius, clarify the chariot. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Sag, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're debating on whether or not to physically move or travel or go be with family. Sag, you can tell me that, you know, this could be work or business, and you're making a decision to, like, Go ahead and move or travel for this abundance, but it may affect your family. Sag, you can tell me that you're thinking about going ahead and moving forward with maybe commitment here. Because it could be forgiveness here, you know, to start over. And you guys already established commitment and work things out. Or this is about going into commitment. Or you're telling me, you know what, you're 
because you're at a crossroads and still hurt and disappointed, you can tell me you're deciding to end this commitment and move forward. Said you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Sag, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Said, you can tell me that you're trying to manifest doing something about this financial lack, which may require some type of travel or for you to leave a former employer to go to something better or new. Said, you can tell me that you're trying to manifest a breakup. Maybe you no longer want to work things out. You no longer want this commitment, Sag. You're still hurt, mourning, disappointed, and you're trying to figure out where do you want to go from here. We're going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner, Sag. And it says, I wasn't ready to settle down. I wasn't ready to settle down. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Sag. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. It says, I love you, though. I love you. Sag, this will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 1st through September the 2nd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.